This month, you can win a set of Tactic LED headlights by subscribing to the Quadratech YouTube channel and leaving a comment down below. Hey, Rob here for Quadratech. Today, we're taking a look at the Alpine i509 WRA JL 9 inch in dash touchscreen restyle unit for the 2018 and newer Jeep Wrangler JL and the 20 newer Jeep Gladiator JT. This 9 inch weather resistant, high resolution digital media receiver does a whole lot more than simply give you a large touchscreen in the dash of your Wrangler or Gladiator. This unit is feature packed with a ton of options as well as some available extra add-ons from Alpine that you can include to really take the entire in-dash and in-vehicle entertainment system in your Jeep to a whole nother level. Now, I thought I'd start out by just giving you a quick rundown on some of the features of the unit. But before we start that, why don't we go ahead and fire it up? So for starters, the i509 features their nine inch 720p HD anti-glare display. Not only has Alpine improved on the resolution of the display from their previous generation restyle units, but they've also made it brighter as well to make it very easy for you to see when you're cruising around with the top back or doors off of your Jeep, even in direct sunlight. As I mentioned, it's also a weather resistant receiver as well, and it features an IP53 weatherproof rating. So you don't have to worry about those occasional showers that might pop up and splash some water on the inside of your Jeep. It features a Jeep specific welcome screen and bezel and surround that complements the interior of your Jeep and really looks like it should have been there right from the factory. As you can see, even the lighting scheme on the hard keys of the unit match the lighting found in your Jeep for a very integrated look. The unit features high resolution audio playback as well as a lot of audio customization. Now it's also compatible with both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in either a wired or wireless configuration. That new wireless setup allows you to jump right in your Jeep and have your phone automatically pair with the unit without having to plug anything in for a truly wireless in-dash multimedia system. Now they've also got Bluetooth hands-free built in here, as well as Sirius XM compatibility with the addition of a standalone Sirius XM tuner. The radio does feature built-in HD radio capability to give you not only a clearer FM reception, but access to additional FM channels as well. Now, in addition to all those great features, before I dive in to showing you how some of the functions of the i509 work, it's also compatible, as I mentioned, with some additional add-ons from Alpine to make your experience even better. You can pair the i509 with the PSS24 WRA complete sound system upgrade that includes new speakers for your dash as well as your soundbar, even an eight inch powered subwoofer that installs under the passenger seat and a four channel amplifier to really revolutionize the way the entire sound system sounds inside of your Jeep. Now you can also pair the i509 with a dash camera from Alpine, the DVR-C320R 1080p HD front and rear facing dual camera dash cam setup. Not only will that dash camera capture all the action forward and behind your Jeep, but it integrates with the i509 so that you can view and control some of the features and settings right from the driver's seat. If you guys want to get more information on both the PSS 24WRA and the DVR C320R, you can click the info button to watch the other videos I've made going over those as well as by heading over to quadratech.com. Now I thought we'd go ahead and dive into some of the features and functionality of the Alpine i509 WRA JL, and we can start with some of the basic features in the unit, like the main screen that we're gonna see here. We do have a lot of customizability with this unit, so we can change the way that the dash looks. As you'll see, we've got multiple pages of options right here to view, everything from our radio to our XM radio, that dash camera I met up, that dash camera I mentioned, as well as things like Apple CarPlay and our other inputs that we're gonna get, like our HDMI, Bluetooth, USB, and even auxiliary inputs. We can page over and see that the Alpine i509 also has native built-in support for Tidal 
high resolution audio. We'll come back to that in just a few minutes. We've also got some flexibility in how we can make this setup look. We can go into some of the settings and actually change our home screen type from normal to enhanced. And if we jump back, you see we've got a totally different look here with these large keys that we can swipe or touch the arrows. So it gives you some flexibility at how you want your radio to look. If you ever wanna go back, it's just as easy to jump back over to that integrated page with more icons on a simple display for you. Before we dive into the ones up top here, you can see we've got a lot of options down the bottom. We're showing what's currently playing. We've also got our vehicle info, which is gonna bring us to some of the basic information that of course you're gonna to wanna to retain from your factory unit. The first page that comes up here is our climate control screen. And as you can see, we've got all the access and information from our climate control system. And we can even control things like heated seats, steering wheel, and all of the different functions of the heating and cooling system right here with a live readout of the status of the system right there on the screen. Now we can also jump over to a gauges display that's gonna give us more in-depth and customizable look at the current status of a lot of the functions in your vehicle. These pages are customizable so that you can swap out the gauges for different displays. And we've even got multiple pages of settings in here so that you can have a different setup for maybe street driving and trail driving. You can get a lot of access to some really great information on this gauges screen. We've also got a vehicle information screen here that's gonna give us a readout of things like our battery status, TPMS sensors, the pressure for our tires, as well as the ability to check and read any check engine light codes as well. We can jump back to the main screen of the unit using the hard keys down here. I love that the i509 not only has the touch screen ability here, but these great hard keys so that we can quickly jump back to things like the home screen, as well as our audio that's playing and even navigation. Of course, we've got our volume adjustments on here as well as some tuning capability, direct one push access to things like our backup camera and our microphone for things like Bluetooth hands-free calling and Siri compatibility or Google Voice Assistant. If we jump into the radio, you'll see that it does have HD tuning built right in. 33W MMR. Off this way, we have the extra container uh, on the roof case, right? Who's that compliments up again? Uh, uh, Quadratech. Quadratech. Awesome. It's great. It's yeah. great. Not only are you going to get a better FM signal, but you're going to get access to additional channels of FM radio as well. Previously not available to you without that HD tuner. Alpine has improved, in my opinion, on the previous generation of Restyle Kit making the scrolling between your presets a lot more fluid. And we've got multiple pages of presets. In fact, we've got three pages of FM and two of AM, which should be plenty more presets than you'll ever need for any of the radio stations that you're listening to. We can jump right back to that main menu here and jump over to the Sirius XM tuner. As I mentioned, this will require the addition of a XM tuner available separately. When you add that, well, it gives you access to the Sirius XM 360L platform. Now, this is Sirius XM's next generation receiver that's going to give you a lot more customizability into what you're listening to on the Sirius XM platform. Not only can you set things like your presets here, but you can also set alerts for some of your favorite artists or maybe your favorite songs, even things like your favorite sports teams so that you can get instant notification right here on your dash when a game has started or maybe gone into a new period or half. A lot of customizability from the Sirius 360L platform. We've also got access to go in to some different settings and change and modify all of those alerts that you might wanna get. I gotta tell you, that Sirius XM 360L platform really does take the Sirius XM radio to a whole nother level with a very factory-like integration that we're seeing in some newer cars on the market, not previously available, 
in an aftermarket radio like the i509. We jump back into our menu. I'll briefly touch on the next item up here, our dash camera setup. One of the cool things with having the DVR C320R plugged into the i509, which does have a dedicated video input for a dash camera, is that you can click it and actually view the feed from that dash camera right here from the seat in your Jeep. Not only can we view that dash camera forward facing view, but as I mentioned, it also has a rear facing view for you as well. And that dash camera is going to record what's going on around your Jeep the entire time you're driving for additional peace of mind should any incidents occur. Now you can also dive in right here from the touchscreen to some of the settings of that dash camera which makes modifying, viewing, and changing the settings of the DVR C320R a very easy process. Now, if you guys want to get more information on the DVR C320R, click that info button to watch my full review on that dash cam setup. For now, we're going to go ahead and jump back over to some of the other available options we've got here. Of course, I mentioned we've got Bluetooth audio capability so that we can either use things like hands-free calling or stream music over Bluetooth. We of course have auxiliary inputs like USB and auxiliary three and a half millimeter jack inputs and even an HDMI input that are all handled right here on the replacement bezel included in the unit with the i509 that takes place of that factory unit. This is gonna give you that HDMI input, the three and a half millimeter auxiliary input and two USB ports. Now, one of those USB ports is going to be your dedicated charging port only with no data connectivity. The other is going to be your port that's dedicated for things like your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay if you'd like to use the wired connection. Now, when you install the i509 in your Jeep, you're also going to retain the charging ability for the rest of the USBs found in your center console and for the rear seats. Now, if we touch again, just a little bit on the installation of the unit, one of the biggest features of the i509 is that even with all of this capability, Alpine has managed to keep this a plug and play, easy to install unit. Now, I will tell you that the installation will take a little bit of time to get done, but everything is plug and play. You're not cutting, splicing any wiring to get this installed and you're not cutting anything in the dash either. Alpine has managed to make this large nine inch restyle kit fit right into the existing hole in the dash. And again, with that Jeep specific bezel, it's kind to integrate that oversized screen into your dash like it's meant to be there. When you remove your factory radio from the dash, you'll simply feed all of the provided wiring harnesses through the dash down under the steering column. The i509 is made up of two main components. We have the display up on the dash, as well as the brain or the main control system that's gonna mount separately down under that steering column. Then of course, we also have that media center that installs in the lower portion on the center stack of the dash to give you all of the plug-in compatibility for the unit. With everything installed, the i509 display will simply snap right into the dash with the included bezel to make it look like it was meant to be there right from the factory. Now we can go into some of the other setup that's available in the unit. Of course, it does retain all of your factory settings. So if we dive into the setup menu, and the function setting right here in the center. And that's gonna bring up all of the different settings we have access, access to, things like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, our radio, XM, USB, iPod. We can page down and see just how many more individual settings we can dive into. Of course, as I mentioned, it does retain all of the factory settings and they're found right here in the factory audio menu. Here, you're gonna see things like the OEM Series XM settings, media, media setup, and our Maestro setup. Now in that Maestro menu, of course the Maestro is included with the i509. That's really the gateway that allows the i509 to communicate with the vehicle and do all of these integrated functions. 
If we dive into vehicle features and settings, you can see we still have access to things like our cluster display, as well as safety and driving assistance, how our lights and doors and locks function when you're entering and exiting the vehicle, as well as things like your remote start comfort systems, like whether or not your heated seat and steering wheel turn on when you remote start the vehicle. You'll also have access in the Maestro features menu to other vehicle information, gauges, warning chimes, and how the climate system functions for you. In the vehicle features and vehicle settings menu, if we jump down onto the next page, you'll see that we also have access to things like the auxiliary switch settings if your Jeep has those installed. So we can still dive in here and change the type of switch and the power source for each of those four auxiliary switches found on the dash. At any time, you can always back out of the menu using the back key or by simply hitting that home key to take you back to your familiar home page. One other feature that I find really cool here is that by hitting that home key a second time, going to take us to the onboard audio tuning page built into the i509. Another improvement that Alpine has made over the previous generation restyle is the amount of control you have over tuning the audio system in the Jeep. We've got a lot of settings on here that we can turn on the media expander and the base engine out of the gate, or we can fine tune those settings right here from the base and the treble or the control of a subwoofer if it's included. We've also got access to things like our crossover points. We've got time correction control here as well as our standard fader and balance controls can even do things like turn on and off the rear speakers or subwoofers right from this menu. Of course, we can always jump to the other options at the top here to really fine tune the equalizer settings for your specific audio preferences. Really, Alpine's given you a ton of customizability built into the i509 to control exactly how the audio system sounds in your Jeep to your specific liking. At any time, we can always hit one of those hard keys to jump back to a familiar home screen. We've also got these two outer home keys on here. We've got a music note. By hitting that at any time, well, it's gonna take you through the different audio inputs that you have the option of using on the 509. We've also got this dedicated navigation button. And while the i509 doesn't have built-in navigation, that hard key will take you right to the last navigation app that you were using with either your Apple CarPlay or your Android Auto connected phone. It's a really great feature to be able to quickly access that navigation right there from that hard key. One of the other hard keys that we haven't really dove into is the camera hard key here. Now the i509 features two camera inputs. So not only will it retain your factory backup camera as well as the active backup lines, well, it will also allow you to add a secondary camera that you can position really anywhere you like on your Jeep. Maybe it's a blind spot side view camera. Maybe it's one that you mount under your Jeep for better viewing while you're off-road, or maybe you'll mount it up on the front of your Jeep to better see obstacles that you're approaching on the trail. By simply toggling that button a second time, it's gonna allow you to jump back and forth between your factory retained rear camera and that additional camera that you may have added to the system. Now, finally, one of the areas that again, wanna to touch on is that this unit is a high resolution digital media receiver. It's capable of playing full 24 bit audio from things like the native title app right here on the i509 of course if you're familiar with Tidal, you can have an account with them to listen to high resolution audio on your phone or computer and while yes the Tidal app is included in apple carplay by using the built-in native Tidal app on the phone and connecting your phone to a wireless hotspot well it's going to give you that full high definition digital audio using a wireless connection to the i509. So as you can see, this nine inch in-dash weather resistant, high resolution digital media receiver from Alpine really is packed with a ton of features. And 
Frankly, I've really just scratched the surface. There is a lot that you can do with this unit and a lot of customizability. Now, if you guys want to get more information or to purchase an i509 WRA JL 9 inch in dash restyle unit for your Jeep Wrangler or Gladiator, you can click that info button to head over to quadratech.com. Of course, if you have any comments or questions about the unit, how to get it installed, or any of the other add ons or accessories from Alpine that I mentioned in this video, you can always leave those for me down in the comments section below or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. And as always, if you haven't already and you like these videos, do me a huge favor, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification icon so be sure to catch all of our latest videos. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you guys out on the trail.